thanks for joining us for the next part of our webinar. With the introduction of SOLIDWORKS CAM, we can now program CNC machines with our SOLIDWORKS parts and assembly. SOLIDWORKS CAM is fully integrated inside SOLIDWORKS and powered by CAMWORKS. It will program the common 2.5 axis milling and 2 axis turning machines, giving users tool path simulation from a comprehensive library of pulse processes. Using automatic feature recognition, standard operations and strategies defined with your own best practices including step over, cut depth, tool type and sizes are instantly applied to the model. At any time, additional machining operations can be manually created using SOLIDWORKS model geometry. Faces to machine in areas to avoid can be defined, eliminating, eliminating the need to create additional reference geometry on the parts. Using SOLIDWORKS CAM's powerful simulation capability, cutter paths can be previewed and compared against the original model helping us identify any potential problems or areas requiring further refinement before the physical part is machined. Any changes made to the SOLIDWORKS design can be instantly applied to your machining operations and cut the parts makes it quick and easy to evaluate parts from manufacturing much earlier in development. Creating a G-code can be done easily with the comprehensive library of post processes. is generating G code here now. After we've generated our machinable part, we also want to know how we can efficiently machine multiple components. Nesting works can be used on SOLIDWORKS parts and sheet metal components. Specify the quantity, material size and thickness. We can preview the nest. We can even generate our nested assembly. This is particularly useful when multiple types of components are to be machined or cut. Okay, so I've just nest, created a nested assembly here. We can import our CAMWORKS data, bring over our machine operations, cut a path, and etc. can see them in the CAMWORKS Manager. Let's take a look at another topic in our next video.